Hello guys, this is Anish Vinci here with another tutorial and this is on how to get this sort of effect plus a few other things like um, if, if I go ahead you can see some sort of glare here um, how to get the effect plus small particles and this is what I came up with something sort of like it um, I use a different technique, uh, slightly different, maybe, I don't know, but it's kind of the same thing, but yeah, so let's find a quick place to render, um, mm, actually let's just use that same one, uh, I don't want to waste time on it, so this is the setup I did, uh, I got a spotlight, actually how I made that spotlight was uh, so the spotlight is a volumetric light so as you can see you can see that the light is shining in and creating these volumetric uh, sort of things fogs I guess uh, so you just click here soft make sure it has a shadow volumetric uh, then go to each visibility you can off the fall off if you like add some noise uh, just change it to visibility uh, visibility yeah and then mm, that's basically it and then uh, then you just change this to here and the other one here also so just put it through your window and when you, if you if you're using some sort of object like a window um, make sure you click on it then add a compositing tag to it and then click off the cast shadows thing so off that so I'm gonna make sure you do that and then I have a physical sky and I just um, rotated it so that it's facing the the window as you can see uh, the sun just rotated and then you see the sun here just pointed towards the window and then click on it and then go to details uh, sun yes yeah, sun and then change the shadow to like 65 or something it's important for you to have another light here otherwise um, and make sure it's facing the same direction as the sun uh, otherwise it looks weird the shadows uh, otherwise it doesn't light up the interior of the the place so yeah you can add a volumetric like oh you can add the normal light inside uh, and then I put a camera here and then I added I guess the render settings for this so I just did my render settings here and change this to RPF RPF on the uh, oh yeah and then so say how I got this effect was I replaced the sky with a solid object in Adobe RFX. So we go into physical sky and it's basically let me just quickly off the tag and show you and off ambient occlusion and render it real fast. So as you can see it's blue because that's the physical sky you see um, yeah it's a quick, cr really quick render I mean a really quick setup but it's a really good render so and then we add the compositing tag and we off uh, scene by camera and scene by transparency because we have a window here and we don't want uh, that to mess up our alpha channel so then we go here and then we go to save and enable the alpha channel uh, we don't need the straight alpha and stuff uh, and say you want your lights to have uh, to have an option to change the color of your lights so you have to on this so on this and then change this to artifacts and save it and then put this thing into a folder like this and save it and then once you render it it'll render out this thing over here and then if you load it into After Effects it'll give you all your lights and you can change the colors and everything but for some reason my after fix isn't recognizing the file uh, 
might be due to the on the version I have no idea but it was working a few months ago but now it's not working anymore okay global illumination basics mm, and that's about it so I really wish that I could have that option where you have all your lights and stuff ready uh, because then I can change the color of the volumetric light because yeah uh, anyway yeah uh, so file new project don't save okay so now once you render it it should come up with two folders I think you can load this one in uh, but I can't load it for some reason when I click load it gives me this error uh, and then once you load that it should give you all the lights in a folder and all the stuff in the folder and everything so I'm just gonna load this RPF thing so um, what the RPF format does is it imports uh, 3D layers uh, to it also so if I click on fog I mean 3D fog oh never mind effects click that jeez effects 3 channel fog 3D and then change the color to a small orange uh, actually let's just make the fog okay we just decrease that and as you can see it has like a fog uh, yeah looks pretty cool if you want you can decrease the opacity yeah my stupid computer is so bad it's just really high unbearable so I'm gonna pause it so yeah now we got the fog um, I'm because of lag reasons I'm gonna make a new composition and then go into project and grab that composition in here and shouldn't be as laggy I hope oh, again with the lag uh, now we can add a new layer to that composition uh, solid change to this sort of color and then press ok now because we had the add alpha channel it should key out the sky really easily and perfectly so it just it if you know how to key things really well um, lag spike again yeah so if you know how to key things really well you don't need this technique uh, and also if you want you can you, you can import an animation and it should be the same not just a picture so uh, you can do the same effect in animation so now let's get an adjustment layer effect no oh yeah, adjustment layer click on the adjustment layer add a glow to that and now if we decrease that and then increase the you can always mess with this thing uh, increase that a little bit to give you a cool looking effect like so and you can always mess with the settings and get it to whatever you like then let's get a new layer a uh, new composition because we have so much lag I mean I have so much lag all the stupid lagging every time I load in something uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. uh, add some particles uh, yeah that one so now let's get some a new solid layer layer new solid and make it some like that color same color as your thing and um, I don't think it matters really yeah I don't think it matters particle world and then grab it onto that solid off all of these because it doesn't really we don't really need it for now actually uh, actually we might need the position okay and go to producer not yet physics mm, change it to I think 12 is good uh, yeah 12 
the gravity to zero. Move this about here. Uh, <laughs> I forgot what I did here. Oh yeah, I changed gravity to go up a little. Like that. Um, should I just make it like that? I don't know how to make it go up in one axis, like the y axis, something like that. And yeah, so I'm just gonna change it to like v cos or something, and then increase the radius on the x axis, and then let's bring it down. Yeah. And then reduce the velocity to zero, and then we decrease that to about here. And then go to particle. I'm surprised it didn't give a lag spike yet. Faded sphere. So now it looks like the light is shining on some dust particles, kind of sort of look. And I actually like that red color. So we can change that red color if you like. The depth. Sort of. Actually, I like it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then we have those particles. Um, he, I think he did it in a 3D layer. Um, I mean 3D uh, sort of thing because when he moves through open space, you see the particles follow it. So I think he did make it in 3ds Max. I'm not sh sure if he used After Effects for the particles. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this could help you out in some renders. It's not. It's it's a f f uh, yeah uh, never mind <laughs> uh, yeah that's about it thanks for watching if you want to help me buy a new computer you can always uh, check out my animation channel and um, download my rigs uh, uh, yeah thanks for watching bye.